Hello, my name is Iman. I am a physician assistant. I work with Dr. Edward Menna at Pasadena Liver Center. And I am also trained to do FibroScan. FibroScan is a very, very neat technology that uh, really mimic and even better than a liver biopsy. When my patient comes to me, they have um, either HIV combined with hepatitis C or they have hepatitis B, hepatitis C combined with hepatitis um, uh, which HIV and non-alcoholic fatty liver with this prop so we have actually two props one prop that I usually use on all my patients um, and it's more specific and the other prop if the patient is depend on the body habitus if there's too much adipose tissue or fat involved uh, around the liver and I cannot get my images with the um, M prop which is called so I use my XL prop and um, usually what I explain to my patient is I am sending vibration through the liver so the liver is a flexible organ when it's diseased it has cirrhosis or it has any scarring it's not as flexible as it is as a healthy liver so the more fibrosis the more scarring the more cirrhotic the patient is the higher my readings would be, and this would define where where would where I stage my patient um, on with the disease. So basically, reading goes from three to seventy-five, and we separate these on four Fs: F zero to F one, F two, F three, and F four. And usually, if my patient readings are F three or are they are bridging, and this is what I explained that. Here where we have to really be careful because we're not yet cirrhotic but we are having a lot of scarring going on in the liver and then um, we need to go on with some treatment or if it's non-alcoholic fatty liver patient has to be very aggressive into um, their uh, diet and exercising and, uh, and so far. And those readings actually based on a divine V8, based on if the patient is HIV with hepatitis C, I have a certain scale that I go by. If patient has non-alcoholic fatty liver, I have another scale that I, that I go uh, with. And um, if my patient has hepatitis B, also there's another scale of readings that I go by to evaluate my patient. And I always explain um, to my patient and which make them so happy, especially those who went already through liver biopsy, that this is really non-invasive.